Talking today to Rajiv Mahotra, who is the chair of VNL. VNL produced a low-cost, low-energy, solar-powered base station. Tell me about the base station. This is a totally solar-powered end-to-end GSM and uh, broadband base station for uh, rural areas. You can go and install it in a village and uh, two villagers themselves can install it in about six to eight hours and uh, it becomes operational. You can put it on your rooftop and the entire village gets the voice and Wi-Fi broadband, plenty of data. What sort of energy does it require? How many watts? It consumes less than a light bulb, less than 50 watts, including the backhaul and everything. And uh, there is sufficient battery capacity so that one day sunshine and for three days no sunshine. The system was perfectly fine. And what level of calls is the base station able to handle on that sort of energy level? With this 50 watt of power consumption for about 100 villagers, 100 villagers can use it. So if, if a villager has about 200 people, so you can have 50% LED density with 100 villagers using this system and broadband also. You've been selling the system in Africa. Tell me which countries you've got base stations of this in. It has been operational in, uh, it, the trials were going on in many countries in Africa and our commercial orders we are rolling out in uh, Ivory Coast, in Mozambique, in Uganda, in Kenya, in uh, Somalia, in uh, uh, Tanzania and a uh, few more countries. And from the conversations you have with African mobile operators, what, what for them are the attractions of the base station? Actually there is not one but there are many attractions because we are solving many of their pain points. The first one is obviously the operating cost, second is the capital cost, third is the microwave backhaul, fourth is there is no electricity in those areas, fourth one, no skilled manpower. So it is a very, it's not that we are unique at one, in one area, we are unique in many areas and a combination of that makes it very, very attractive for them. In uh, Africa, uh, take a country like Nigeria, 70% out of their OPEX goes for their power bill and with the diesel prices going up, uh, this is just going to kill them. So this is the answer in a way to many of the base station requirements. Yes, you are right. and. Uh, Today, the biggest polluter is the mobile operator in any country, in any third world, including India for that matter. In India, three mobile operators combined together consume uh, more than uh, two billion liters of diesel and they emit about uh, seven million tons of CO2. So they are the single largest polluter in any country today. What are the costs of the base station? Give me some idea. Of a base station, typical base station, cheapest one for 100 people, cost less than $20,000 in a village and uh, all installed, commission delivered. And that, that's the, um, if you like, the basic unit which will deliver into the village. You have a transmission unit. How much does the transmission unit cost? It includes, it inclu this is a complete thing. It includes the transmission, microwave backhaul, power system. O&M, everything, $20,000 and uh, you are in business. But you, when you were showing me the diagram, you were showing me um, the backhaul yes. tower. What will a backhaul tower cost? Backhaul tower is a centralized one which will get divided over about uh, 15 or 20 such units. Okay. So, and non normally that kind of thing is already existing there. If it is not there, then you can put it, that cost about $100,000, less than $100,000 and that that will take you to 20 kilometer deep into the forest or the rural area. Okay. So, do you think that African operators are at a turning point where they will begin to employ these kind of low energy base stations? Because there's been a lot of pilots going on, but it hasn't really gone mainstream yet. Uh, two reasons why it has not gone mainstream, because the equipment which was available so far, it was all designed in West, and in West there is no shortage of power. So that was one. Second, I mean, a lot of barrier from these companies and organization that why this new thing. But now it is going in, it is in the rollout mode and uh, we have a lot of uh, negotiations going on with these big, big mobile operators in Africa, in India. 
one of the arguments that the CTOs of mobile operators will put is that, well, we've got two kinds of vendors. We've got this vendor and that vendor. We've got all the spares. We've got all the expertise. Why should we take on a third vendor? This is the same thing, and we always hear this, but now they don't say that. They are coming to us themselves, and uh, because our system is, we made it so simple, and there are just three items to select, a village site and a rural site. So even a technician in the rural area can decide himself, and they know we put the, we put the entire RF planning, the costing, and the business model on the web, so they can do their own business model, they can do their own costing, and the whole thing is integrated, so high level of integration. I mean, uh, I don't know if I can say, but let me say, uh, there were so many mobile phone manufacturers. Five years ago, Apple came, one model, only one model, mm. and look where they are today. So when we started so late, we knew people need all this, this, this. So we put all of that together, collect the whole thing, made it so simple and easy. Uh, RF, it's, a, it's a child's play, anybody can do it. Mm. So it's the same thing, look, uh, there were big, big companies with 20 models. What happened to them? One model. Yeah, so you're hoping to be the paradigm changer of, of, of base stations. It is, it is, and that's what exactly people need in these areas. They are, I mean, we are lucky, we have everything. We live in cities, these are the people in the rural area, and this is 70% of the population, and who do not have this access. Mm. So we, they need it today. It's not that the existing companies cannot do it. They could have done it, but it would have hurted their own business model. So for us, we, big luxury was there. We started on a white sheet of paper. So we have nothing to lose. Just move forward. Rajiv, thank you very much for talking to me today. Welcome. Thank you.